Welcome to my another Excel video tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to extract an email address from a provided text string. If you like my tutorials do not forget to subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay tuned with my new uploads. Excel has a range of text functions that would make it easy to extract a substring from the original text in Excel. Let's see the mechanism of extracting an email address from a given text, it will help us to use the available Excel text functions to satisfy the defined mechanism, and finally to return the exact email address. First, I will increase the spaces between each word of the text string. For this we can use the Excel substitute and rept functions. The at symbol is the common character in any email address. Hence we can relate this symbol within the text string to extract the entire email address from any text given. So, to find the position of the at sign, this can be done by using Excel find function and it will return the nth position of the at sign. By using at sign, nth position number, we can extract the email address by using the Excel mid function. The Excel mid function extracts a given number of signs from the middle of a supply text string. Finally, we can use the Excel trim function to remove all spaces before and after the email address. Ok, here I have a supply text with an email address, let's start to apply the defined methodology to see how it works. First use Excel substitute function to increase the spaces between the text string, hence the function will be equal, substitute, open bracket, the text argument will be my original text string, and the old text argument will be the character space, because we are going to increase the number of spaces between each word instead of single space, so use double quotation with a single space, comma, then the new text argument will be the number of spaces that we are going to increase, for this we can use Excel rept function, hence REPT, open bracket, text argument will be the space. Then frequency will be 20. Now you can see the original text string spaces are increased between each word by 20 space characters. Next, to find the nth position of the sign at, for this we can use Excel find function, hence place the find function before substitute function. The text to be find will be the at symbol between double quotation mark. Comma, within text will be our substitute text, then leave start them, argument as optional. Now you can see the formula has returned the number, it means the sign at, is lying on 62nd position of the substitute text string. OK. Next. We will use mid function to extract the email id with respect to the nth position of the sign at. So, place the excel mid function before excel find function. Here, the text argument will be our substitute text, so I will copy the same formula and paste instead text argument. Comma, I will keep the same excel find function for the start num argument, here the mid function identified the starting position of a text string, that is 60 second position, but, we need the text before sign at, to extract an entire email address, hence I have to move the start position towards the left direction, I will deduct around 20, hope it will be long enough to govern my email address from the first letter, then comma, next the number of signs to move toward right side, for this I will enter 40. You can use any number if you know it will be long enough to extract the full email address. OK. We have almost done. Last touch is about the removing spaces before and after email address. For this we will use Excel trim function. Let's copy down the formula. You can see the formula is extracting the email address as we expected. Cool. We have done it for today. I hope you have learned and enjoyed watching this tutorial. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching, please like, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel for all the latest updates. Have a nice day.